Hi, I'm Dr. Younger. I'm director of the Neuroinflammation Pain and Fatigue Laboratory. So I've mentioned over the past few weeks that I'm in the middle of writing a very large grant application, and now I'm at the tail end of that process. So it'll be due and done in a couple of weeks. But at this stage, the grant application process really takes over everything that we do. We typically stop reading emails and answering the phone or having meetings unless they have to do with the grant. Some of us start sleeping in the office a few nights because we don't really have time to go home and come back. So things get pretty hectic at the end, and we're in that part right now. But despite that, I am going to put out a video per week, but it's going to be a little shorter this week. And I'm just going to give you an overview or really an update on my remote clinical trials because it's relevant to the uh, grant that I'm writing. Now, next week, I am going to talk about the new research behind the kind of green light phototherapy. And I want to talk about whether I think that's a true physiological phenomenon in treatment or whether I think it's more placebo. So definitely um, listen to that video next week. It's going to be very interesting. But today I want to do a quick update on the remote clinical trials. This is a huge initiative of mine. I ultimately want to get every clinical trial I do open to at least the entire United States, uh, ultimately, hope, hopefully beyond that. But for right now, I'm just targeting the United States. I want to make the clinical trials available to everyone, no matter where they live, and even make it available to people, even if they're homebound or bedbound, which has been kind of a deficit of clinical trials. It's just to date, clinical trials have never been available for people who can't leave their house. And so we miss critical information on the most severe patients for a lot of uh, chronic conditions. So I have one ongoing remote clinical trial, my first one that I've ever done, and this one is for Gulf War illness. And we're testing curcumin, resveratrol, and stinging nettle, which are three botanicals that I think are particularly good at calming systemic inflammation and brain inflammation. And for this clinical trial, we're targeting 300 patients. Things are going very well right now. That's the update. We've consented 145 people, and we have 95 actively running through the protocol right now, which means they're getting capsules and doing outcome uh, assessment reports every uh, weekend. Uh, we've learned a lot doing this process for a couple of years, and now that we've fixed the issues, and now I know what kind of things to look out for, and now the process is moving smoothly, it gives me the confidence to make all of my clinical trials remote, like the one that's ongoing. So the grant I'm writing right now is actually for another remote clinical trial. This one's going to be an MECFS, or myalgic encephalomyelitis, chronic fatigue syndrome. I'm not going to say more about the details of the grant I'm writing, and I'm not going to mention where it's going to go for funding. I'm not even going to mention the treatment right now. And the reason I'm doing that is I, I don't want it to seem like I'm trying to influence the grant review process. And, you know, that has to be a well-controlled process. And I don't want to give the appearance that anything's altering, I guess, the integrity of that process is what I'm trying to say. So later, I will give those details, but just not right now. Probably after the review has been done, I'll feel comfortable talking more about uh, that grant application, uh, what it's targeting, um, what treatment we're going to use, why I think it's going to work. Uh, we'll also talk about when the trial might start. Uh, we'll also talk about when I find out if it gets funded or not, which is kind of the critical thing right now. As I've mentioned before, the success rate for grants are, are quite low. Uh, typically, maybe 10% of grants get funded, which means obviously 90% of the grants are not funded. So the odds are against really anyone applying for a grant. Um, so our fingers are crossed and we'll hope for the best. And then when I get news, we'll talk more about that uh, project and hopefully it's funded. And then I can tell you how you might become involved and be a participant. So I really appreciate you listening. Uh, I, I can't wait to successfully wrap up this grant application and get it out the door and then return to making the longer scientific videos for you. There are so many things that we need to talk about that I think will be uh, useful to you. So there'll be more next week. Uh, I hope you have a really good uh, week and hope to see you back here on Monday.